Good morning. I'm going to give you the instructions for how to do your three checks for Jordan Bird. So, the first thing you want to do is do your setup. Your setup consists of your Mars, if it's prescription Mars, or if it's a PRN Mars, your napkin, your cups for however many medications you are going to be using, an ink pen, and your water. No medication comes out at this time. Now, because I'm recording this, and I'm used to speaking naturally, bear with me. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is greet your client and wash your hands. You always wanna wash your hands as well as the client because you're always making sure that you're expressing to the client that you're willing to have good hygiene just like you expect them to. So the first thing I will do is I'm going to do 8 a.m. I'm going to start with 8 a.m. Good morning, Jordan. It is 8 a.m. It's time for your 8 a.m. medication. Can you please wash your hands and I'm going to wash mine. All right, so your first medication is Tegretol. That's a 4 p.m. That's an 8 a.m. Okay. So you always make sure you have the uh, correct medication. All right. So starting with your medication, always. Your six rights that are on the label, you always go to the medication first, and then you check the MAR. The three checks means read the medication label, check the MAR. You have to do that three times for each medication. All right, so I'm going to do the first check of each medication. Jordan Bird, Jordan Bird, Tegretol 400 milligrams, Tegretol 400 milligrams. Take two tablets orally every a.m. and p.m. for seizures. Take two tablets orally every a.m. and p.m. for seizures. 8 a.m., 8 a.m. That's the first check of the first medication. The first check is called verification. I'm just sitting it in front of a cup. Well, from I'm going to place it how you would see it. You sit it in front of the first cup. Now I'm going to do the first check of the second medication. The second medication is amoxicillin. Jordan Bird. And you see, I caught my own mistake. I'm not supposed to start from the MAR. I'm supposed to start from the medication. Jordan Bird, Jordan Bird, amoxicillin 250 milligrams, amoxicillin 250 milligrams. Take one tablet three times per day orally for 10 days for infection. Take one tablet three times per day orally for 10 days for infection. 8 a.m., 8 a.m. First check, second med. Sit it in front of a cup. First check, third med. Now, it's not always that Jordan is going to need Robitussin, but for testing purposes, we're assuming oh, that Jordan is coughing. So I'm going to do my PRN as well. So Jordan, I noticed you were coughing, so I'm going to assist you with some medication, with some Robitussin. Okay. Jordan Bird, Jordan Bird. Robitussin, Robitussin. Take 10 milliliters orally every four hours as needed for cough times five days. Take 10 milliliters orally every, every four hours as needed for cough times five days. Maximum doses for a 24 hour period is six doses. Maximum doses for a 24 hour period is six doses. Verification check of the third medication is complete. So first check is complete. Now I'm on the second check. After the first check, everything should move a little bit faster. Because you already know, you have everything lined up. Notice I have everything in order. The more orderly you are, the less mistakes that you'll make. Okay, so. 
Jordan Bird, Jordan Bird. Take her top 400 milligrams, take her top 400 milligrams. Take two tablets orally every a.m. and p.m. for seizures. Take two tablets orally every a.m. and p.m. for seizures. 8 a.m., 8 a.m. Today is the second. Notice I didn't move the cup until I was sure that both pills had fallen into the cup. I don't want to move this and then a pill drops. If a pill drops, that's a med error for both of the pills. You need to discard it however your agency tells you to. And then you have to take a pill. You have to pop from the last day of the month. You're popping from the last day of the month so that you don't confuse other staff why a pill is missing. When you pop from the last day of the month, you are also giving yourself time to contact the pharmacist so that they can refill those med errors. All right, so this second check is called preparation. I'm preparing the medication in the cup. So now I'm gonna do my second check, second med, which is preparation, second med. Jordan Bird, Jordan Bird. Amoxicillin 250 milligrams, amoxicillin 250 milligrams. Take one tablet three times per day orally for 10 days for infection. Take one tablet three times per day orally for 10 days for infection. 8 a.m., 8 a.m. Anytime you have medication in a bottle and it's not liquid, if it's a, a capsule, gel cap, however you, you want to pour it into the top, the cap. I pour it out too. It doesn't matter how many fall out. You just keep going back and forth until you get the amount that the prescription is for. So we only need one. And two keeps falling out. So let me see if I can get... Alright, so now I'm down to one. Bring the med cup to you and pour it in. When you reach over, you may not be lined up or if you're too high up, the pill could... You know, because fresh pills have buoyancy. So when you go to dump it, it may bounce and pop out of the cup. And now you have a med error, you have paperwork, you have an SIR. Some companies will terminate you if you have three med errors. Regional center can require the company to have you retrained. If you've been trained and regional center requires you to be trained, that will probably be at your own expense. You will have to pay for that training yourself before you can return to work. Okay, so now I'm on my second check, third med. Jordan Bird, Jordan Bird. Robitussin, Robitussin. Take 10 milliliters orally every four hours as needed for cough times five days. Take 10 milliliters orally every four hours as needed for cough times five days. Maximum doses for a 24-hour period is six doses. Maximum doses for a 24-hour period is six doses. Now, when I prepare this Robitussin, your hand goes over the prescription label. Sometimes you'll be able to see the store, the manufacturer's label, and the prescription label. You want to protect the prescription label. Because if this spills out onto the label, you have to order a new bottle because if Regional Center does an unannounced visit, they don't know if you know what you're doing because how are you comparing if you can't see the instructions. So always cover the prescription label and then you're going to pour it. Now, I'm not pouring this because this is my pretend bottle and it's oil and so I don't want it to be messy. But you will get the understanding. Cover the label. You're not pouring tea, so no pinkies out. You're not holding it with the tips of your fingers, so make sure you're not holding it because it's like this because it's easy for it to fall. Grip it. Cover that label. You're going to pour it into, now you can do it at eye level and you can do your 10 milliliters or you can sit it on the counter and you can bend down and pour it. Okay, once you pour it, you take your napkin, you have to wipe off the top, and then put the cap back on. So, I have completed 
my preparation, which is my second check of all three mats. Three checks, remember. Now I'm going to do the third check, which is presentation because I'm going to present it to Jordan Bird. If your client has a lot of medication, make sure that you reinforce them by thanking them for being patient while you go through this process. You're supposed to do all three checks in front of Jordan. Jordan Bird, Jordan Bird, Tegretol 400 milligrams, Tegretol 400 milligrams. Take two tablets orally every a.m. and p.m. for seizures. Take two tablets orally every a.m. and p.m. for seizures. 8 a.m., 8 a.m. You must tell Jordan what they're taking and why. You cannot say this is your medication. You must say the name of the medication. Jordan, this is Tegretol for your seizures and some water. I hand both at the same time because I want to see that Jordan takes in both the medication and the water. If I hand Jordan the medication first and then look down to get the water, Jordan may chuck the pills somewhere. So that's third check, first med. Third check, second med. Jordan Bird, Jordan Bird. Amoxicillin 250 milligrams, amoxicillin 250 milligrams. Take one tablet three times per day orally for 10 days for infection. Take one tablet three times per day orally for 10 days for infection. 8 a.m., 8 a.m. Okay, Jordan, this is your amoxicillin for your infection and some water. Okay. Moving this to the side because Jordan has already taken this. Third check, third med. This is our presentation. Jordan Bird, Jordan Bird, Robitussin, Robitussin. Take 10 milliliters orally every four hours as needed for cough times five days. Take 10 milliliters orally every four hours as needed for cough times five days. Maximum doses for a 24 hour period is six doses. Maximum doses for a 24 hour period is six doses. Okay, Jordan, this is your Robitussin for your cough and some water. Yes, you are offering water with your liquid medication. I know some of you are old school, but as we discussed in a previous chapter, our bodies are 69 to 72 percent water. It is okay. We will not dilute the effects of the medication. Okay, so you've completed all three of your medications, all three checks. I did three checks for each medication. Now you want to tell Jordan, okay Jordan, that completes your 8 a.m. medication. You can go ahead and go back to doing whatever it is you were doing and I will be checking on you throughout the hour. So maybe about every 15 minutes you want to go in and lay eyes on Jordan and make sure Jordan's okay. If Jordan is engaging with another client, you know he's probably doing okay. If Jordan is asleep, you want to go near Jordan to make sure that you see that Jordan is breathing appropriately. Because you want to make sure Jordan is just taking a nap as opposed to being unconscious. So, sometimes, you know, the client doesn't want you, the individual doesn't want you to bother them. So you can just walk through the room and as long as you lay eyes on Jordan, if Jordan looks like he's hypnotized in the television, you know, because sometimes when people get that focus with that TV, just act like you needed to get something in, from in front of the television or you needed to dust something off just so that Jordan could take his eyes off of it for a second. So you say, oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. That's still your check. Okay, so Jordan walks away and goes to do whatever Jordan was doing. Now you're going to do your seventh right. Your, so the six rights were on the label, remember? The seventh right is your signature. Today is the second. I'm going to go through each medication and I'm going to put my initials and it's 8 o'clock in the morning I'm I don't see any other staff signature on here so I'm the first to assist Jordan today so 
I make sure my initials are on the bottom of the page. Then, once I complete, once I complete the prescription mark, I'm going to go to my PRN mark, and I'm going to complete that. Today is the second. My initials, TS. The hour is 8 a.m. The medication is Robitussin. The dosage is 10 milliliters. The reason is for cough, and then I have to stop. I don't fill out anything else because now it's time for me to monitor Jordan. Every 15 minutes, so I go in about 8.15, 8.30, 8.45, it's now 9 o'clock. I go in, I go to see Jordan. Hey Jordan, how are you doing? Are you still coughing? Jordan says no. Jordan could say yes, and that's okay. You document whatever Jordan says about the cough. You don't document how Jordan is feeling. You document how Jordan is coughing. Is he coughing more, less? Did it go away? That's what you're documenting. Now, if Jordan is not feeling well for other reasons, that's a separate form that you document on because you may have to get him additional uh, medical help. But on your PRN, for what you're documenting, you're only documenting that the reasons why that medication was presented. All right, so Jordan is not coughing, so I would put no more coughing or coughing ceased, however you speak. And then I would put 9 a.m. And then at the bottom, I would make sure somewhere on here I have signed my initials and my signature and then I'm complete I'm finished medication for the 8 a.m. has been wrapped up okay so now you will have a term <laughs>